what's up guys so I'm on my way to GameStop right now today should be the day that they have the PlayStation 5 Pros I do believe that they probably received it a day or two before and they're just holding them in the back room but today should be the day I could go pick it up uh, the balance I have left is uh, $144 and that's it I'm gonna show you guys the box I'm gonna probably probably not gonna do the unboxing today just because I have to get ready for work but I'm gonna show you guys the box um, there were some thoughts on Digital Foundry reviewing the packaging label and they were um, not satisfied with the way the packaging was because this is a pro maybe the 30th anniversary will have all that enticement so, you know, just to get the PS5 Pro standard. And I remember when I got my very first PS4 Pro, it was in the regular packaging. You know, around that time, I wasn't really thinking about some special limited box, you know. I was just happy to have a Pro because I was like, oh, this is new. It's cool. It looks great. Yeah, let's get it, you know. Uh, but this one right here, when I see the PlayStation 5 Pro, I feel like the PlayStation 5 went on SlimFast and put one of those like weight management belts around its waist and just like turned into a woman. So PlayStation 5 was the man and then PlayStation 5 Pro turned into the woman. Now don't don't get all like divisive on me for saying that because I, I'm just trying to make a point. I'm not I don't have anything against anybody. I'm saying that it's just funny how we had this big fat PlayStation 5 and then we get this slim PlayStation 5 Pro and and they're saying it's extremely light and then also that it is um I don't understand how for it to be so light how we could have a little bit of more power in it, it doesn't make sense to me. Now there was a couple other YouTubers that were testing it out, and they said that the fan was actually a little louder. So I'm hoping that it's not loud enough to where it brings back memories of the PS4 Pro. You know, because I'm thinking because the the walls are so small on this thing that it might actually be it might actually be. Um, louder because of the fact that it's a smaller system smaller system so and, and it's it's disc only of course I'm gonna put the disc drive on it but once you put the disc drive on it some people some uh, youtubers have said that it looks ugly and I'm just I'm giving you guys the uh, so far the scoop about it that it looks ugly of course, I'm going to put it together and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to put the four terabytes in there for now, plus with two. That's enough for me, I think. I don't I don't need to upgrade to a higher amount anytime right now. Um, and I guess we're going to be doing videos on the PS5 Pro and then the original PS5 to see what is the hype, what is the difference between these two, because I have two TVs, so I can show you when the game is on the PS5, and then I can show you when the game is on the PS5 Pro, and you guys could uh, see for yourselves. I'll have my uh, camera on my phone. I can point out the things that I notice, and then uh, make those kind of videos. I don't have the tech like an editor, you know. I think the best person, the best channel to go to when it comes to that is actually Digital Foundry, because they know exactly what they're looking for that's the key they they know it's like they're like the you know how there's the ghostbusters they're they're like the digital foundry busters like they know they're they're not afraid to find the tech the the imperfections the def, deflex defects they're not afraid to show that off because that's what builds their channel it lets people know i'm sure the developers hate that to some essence because they're always being exposed with their little glitches here and there and their unfinished polished games unfinished polished games that's what it all comes down to when the game releases it's unfinished it's not polished that's a bad way of um, having these games 
you know what I mean? It's a bad way of having these games. So, with that being said, it's one of those things where um, we just have to wait and see. Now, so far, another thing that caught my attention was, so far the games that had the PS5 Pro uh, testing, as opposed to the regular PS5, was only showing 10 frames more increase. It was showing 10 frames more increase, maybe 12. That was it. And the ray tracing is nice, it's a nice. But if it's only 10 to 12 frames, is it really worth it? Because we're, we're spending $700 on this console. Well, we on top of the freaking disk drive and the stand, everything just all adds up. And um, it's just a very, very um, strange price. If we're not going to be getting that much power, yes, I want to get it for us because we are the enthusiasts. We're going to be gaming on it. I do want to test it out on the portal. I'll tell you right off the bat if it's going to play look better on the portal. You know what I mean? That That's important. The portal is very important for a review because it basically tells, shows us and tells us that it's going to be um, a really good, a really good connection with the Wi-Fi 7. Two terabytes of storage, we need that. That's a plus. That is extremely a plus. Two terabytes of storage is a plus, I'll be honest with you. Um, and with that being said, you know, they should have included a DualSense Edge controller because we're spending so much money as, as a gift. So right now, Sony is... And another reason Sony's doing this, it's not just because... They're, they're holding back from helping us save a little money. Microsoft ain't doing a thing to compete anymore. So when Microsoft's not doing a thing to compete, why why should Sony um, give us a fair price? They have no one they're going up against. And, and that's sad. It just, it just shows the true intent because they know people are going to buy it because we want to see it. But now they're making a little, a little more extra money off of us. That, that I would say, you know what I mean? Um, as of right now, the PlayStation 5 Pro, with all the reviews, some people even gave it a 7 out of 10. Uh, 7, it, it, I, I think that's ballsy to say, because a 7 is kind of like saying, you know what, it's like a cheap piece of plastic that is pretty much the same as the PS5, but maybe just a little better, you know, 7. I would say an 8.5 or a 9 would be more of a satisfactory review but a seven seven feels like i'm buying a triple a console like nothing major you know like uh i don't know i don't want to compare it to any other console because i don't need people flipping out on me um maybe i would say atari jaguar i, I don't know i don't know <laughs> don't don't get mad at me about that you know because uh at the end of the day, you know, it's it, it, it's one of those things where I'm just like, I'm kind of questioning everything right now because I don't know if the money I spend on this thing, if it's really worth it. Of course, I'm going to keep it because you got more features on it. I'm going to test it out. Uh, we're going to see the ray tracing when we're playing Gran Turismo so I can point it out and all that stuff. Um, hopefully, because of all the power in the PS5 Pro, you guys will still be able to get a good uh, view of it when, when it's being streamed, when the game's being streamed, yeah. Um, but as of right now, we're going to see what they have in store for us, because I, I really don't know. I, I really don't know. I know that um, as of right now, it's just one of those things where... I, I don't know what to expect from this pro and you know with the boxing again like when they're saying that the boxing is kind of like a cheesy way rich better let her let her bend just rip the box in half i mean that was like a wow moment to me because like he could care less about the box he wants to see what's behind the box you know where um john is meticulously taking the box out so he doesn't bend one corner and put it away. And I, I respect that. I respect that with John because I bet you if you've ever seen his collection, it's all still 
brand new and um, you know when you have a, a big house a big game room showroom all that stuff you can do that stuff but me personally I don't have as much room I do but you know eventually th there will be dust forming and it will uh, bend here and there but I'm more concerned about what the gaming is gonna entail um, I want to see the old PlayStation 4 games because I want to start buying a collection of PlayStation 4 games. You know why? Because they're going to be out there. You could get them everywhere and build that collection and just enjoy gaming. I'm going to connect the disc drive, the stand. Um, but I, I just, I feel like, I feel like it's a cheesy way of saying, here's your PS5 Pro. We kind of, some people say it looks nice, but as soon as the disc drive is put on there. Oh, bloody, everybody's look at it. I could just imagine it kind of looks kind of ugly. So I don't like the ugly look. I like my PlayStation 5 the way it looks now. And that's another reason why I am um, keeping my original PlayStation 5 because it is it is that good. Um, so what's the, what's the PS5 Pro? Is it going to be better? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be better. I don't know if it's going to be better. I really don't. PS5 Pro, they're saying it's going to be better. But then, like, perfect example, Alan Wake 2. The CPU is the reason why Alan Wake 2 won't play 4K, won't play ray tracing at 60. It still stays at 40 FPS. Now, the, the, the ray tracing probably looks really nice. But if your frame rate's having uh, bumped up, then that is going to not feel next-gen or even mid-gen refresh. So I am getting ready to go to GameStop, and we are going to see for ourselves what this Pro... Probably a probably small box. Probably a small box. You know what I mean? It, it, it's probably a small box. So... Uh, in a way, I feel like I wasted money, but I, I, I just want to have the hype of it, but I feel like I wasted money. That's my honest opinion. It should be open. Should really, no one should really be here. Oh yeah, people are here because they're probably picking up their PS5 Pros. You know, it's like an exciting day to pick up your PS5 Pro, you know what I mean? It's it's one of those feelings like yeah the PS5 Pro you know it's it's a good stuff so all right so I'm gonna park right here guys um, give me a minute I'm gonna park right here I'll be back to show you guys another video but I am here I'll tell you in a second what's going on all right let's see what we're let's see what we're in, in, into all right guys. <clears throat> 